Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in this series of tips for Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the first game, we had six different fence types. We had a weak, heavy, and extra strong version of the fences with an electrified and non-electrified version for each. Everyone really liked the electrified concrete fence because it was really strong and we could use it in high security builds. And it, lo it just looks really nice in a park with high security. But when we get into Jurassic World Evolution 2, the fences look a little bit different. We no longer have the non-electrified versions of each fence. That's not a problem because the fences still function non-electrified. But something that was missing was the um, heavy electrified fence, or the concrete wall with electricity. What if we try to overlay the fences though? If I create a stretch of fence like this, say I'm trying to create the electrified concrete wall by placing a um, steel fence over on top of it, that doesn't work because, as you can see, it just curves away from the wall. If we use minimum length fence segments like this, not only does it create a stronger looking fence by having the heavy steel frames closer to each other, when we place an electrified fence over top of it, it, has, it doesn't have room to curve away. So the fence just snaps on top of it. You can create fences with five layers thick, and this creates a really nice effect. During the nighttime, the red lights on the fences also pulse, which gives it a really intimidating looking fence for like a hybrid enclosure or something. And I just think this looks really cool. Um, you can overlay the fences however you want. It doesn't look ridiculous. Um, there's a little bit of clipping on the fences. Uh, but that's how I create the electrified concrete fence in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hope you enjoyed this tips video. Uh, please like and subscribe.